Good evening. You're watching uh, To The Point. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. Well, today, one could say that the Delhi Chief Minister got supreme relief from the Supreme Court. Arvind Kejriwal from the Supreme Court today was granted interim bail in the Enforcement Directorate's liquor scam probe. However, the Delhi Chief Minister remains in Tehar under CBI custody because that's a separate case where he's been arrested with the same case in terms of the probe in the alleged Delhi liquor scam. However, meanwhile, the enforcement watchdog's powers of arrest have now come under the top court's radar. Here is our detailed report. Relief for Arvind Kejriwal from India's top court. The Supreme Court on Friday granted interim bail to the Delhi Chief Minister in the Enforcement Directorate's excise policy case. But Kejriwal will remain in Tihar jail as he was also detained by the Central Bureau of Investigation on charges related to the alleged liquor policy scam under the Prevention of Corruption Act. The Supreme Court's bench has referred Kejriwal's petition challenging his arrest by the ED to a larger bench. The interim bail granted to Kejriwal could potentially smoothen the process for obtaining bail in the CBI case, offering a glimmer of hope for Kejriwal and his legal team. The political firestorm intensifies, with both AAP and BJP claiming vindication. सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये इशारा करा है कि जब भी कोई भी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल फंक्शनरी इस प्रकार के अपराध में लिप्त होता है तो उसको अपने पद से इस्तीफा देना चाहिए लेकिन माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग एजेंसीज को गुमराह कर रहे हैं अपने साथियों को भी लिप्त कर रहे हैं कभी सौरभ भारद्वाज जी का नाम लेते हैं कभी आतिशी जी का नाम लेते हैं कभी दुर्गेश पाठक जी का नाम लेते हैं पर सत्ता के मुंह में इतने मदमस्त हैं कि सीएम की कुर्सी को छोड़ने के लिए वो तैयार नहीं हैं। मैं आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी को ये कहना चाहती हूँ कि इस देश के एक के बाद एक हर न्यायालय ने आपके षड्यंत्र का पर्दाफाश किया एक के बाद एक न्यायालय ने कहा है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के खिलाफ सबूत नहीं है और आज एक के बाद एक हर न्यायालय अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को समानत दे रहा है द कोर्ट्स डिसीजन टू रेफर केजरीवाल प्ली टू अ लार्जर बेंच हैज स्पॉक्ट अ ब्रॉडर डिबेट रिगार्डिंग द पावर्स ऑफ द ईडी अंडर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट द कोर्ट हैज रेफर थ्री क्वेश्चन One, whether the need and necessity to arrest is a separate ground to challenge arrest under Section 19.1 of PMLA. Two, whether the need and necessity to arrest refers to the satisfaction of formal parameters to arrest, or it relates to other personal grounds and reasons in the facts and circumstances of the said case. And finally, what are the parameters and facts to be taken into consideration by the court while examining the need and necessity to arrest? The Supreme Court highlighted the right to life while granting Kejriwal bail. The larger bench could now decide on laying down stricter guidelines for ED while making arrest under PMLA. With Nalini Sharma, Bureau Report, India Today. So what does this mean for Arvind Kejriwal and what does this mean importantly for the law where PMLA is concerned? Let's cut across uh, to our uh, panelists this evening. But before that, allow me to go to Kanu Sardwa, who was uh, in court today. And uh, she'll take us through on what were the key points of that hearing and observations, Kanu. Well, Preeti, the most important part is that, you know, the ED is powers, uh, the indefinite powers which were given under the PMLA is now under the scrutiny of a larger bench of the Supreme Court, which is a very, huge, huge takeaway from this uh, the bail order which has come from the Supreme Court for Arvind K. Shrivat. The second important thing is that, you know, the, the, the Supreme Court has clearly categorically said that mere on the assumption of... of uh, investigating officer arrest cannot be made like this, like what it has been made in Arvind Kejriwal's case. Uh, if, if we have gone to the uh, detail of the judgment, the cl it clearly says that reasons to believe uh, has to be given to an accused in all cases concerned. So this is this case is not only for Arvind Kejriwal, but for all the cases like ED across the country which have been filing uh, because uh, before. Uh, so I'm not telling the accused that what is the reason of their arrest, despite there is a clear, clear ruling, not only uh, by today's bench, but also by the previous uh, judgments also. But 
still the investigating agency is not following that so uh, from this judgment uh, uh, today's judgment a uh, clarity will on the ed's power of not giving the reasons of arrest will also be you know very very crucial out here so arvind kejriwal uh, will obviously uh, be inside jail because he is in a cbi custody but yes of course the the entire delhi liquor policy case will have a huge ramifications after today's order in the case appreciate you joining us kanu and taking us through the big takeaways because what really happened in court is kanu uh, elucidated uh, in that brief crisp interlude was huge where it came down to not just the fate of arwin kejriwal where the delhi alleged delhi liquor scam is concerned also where the entire law the pmla comes into question i want to cut across to sanjay hegre senior advocate supreme court akshay marathe national spokesperson aam aadmi party neoma gupta spokesperson bharatiya janata party sanjay hegre you know the sheer fact that this was not a petition for bail where arvind kejriwal had approached the top court of the country he was actually challenging the legality of his arrest um does this somewhere down the me- uh, line mean that he when he got bail uh by the supreme court that the arrest was completely unnecessary well was it necessary and how do you justify it where uh, the supreme court's three questions essentially ask whether the need and necessity to arrest is a separate ground to challenge the order of arrest in terms of section 19 and what is the need and necessity to arrest does it refer to the satisfaction of the formal parameters to arrest and take a person or does it relate to other grounds and reasons regarding necessity to arrest so there this is a continuation of two or three earlier judgments of the supreme court which basically said that yes under the pmla you have powers to arrest under section 19 but that is not an absolute power it, it can't be look i don't like preeti choudhary arrest her that is no grounds for arrest you would have to make out in this case all these things have happened i am investigating and because of the x y z reasons these are the reasons that i am proceeding to arrest the person there was an earlier judgment called pankaj bansal where the uh, supreme court another bench had said that you have to furnish the detainee the grounds of arrest now what the court has further said is what are those grounds they have to be really relevant so all these parameters will have to be decided by a larger bench because there is an earlier judgment of the supreme court in vijay madanlal choudhury which was a three judge judgment so they these matters also go to a three judge uh, bench but in the meanwhile they've granted mr kejriwal bail this is a very 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 important order as your correspondent rightly said not only for mr kejriwal but for many other victims of the mm-hmm. arbitrary powers of arrest which the ed officers used to exercise hitherto and in future also ed officers when told that look the reasons why you arrested somebody are likely to be challenged in a the court they are going to be much more cautious especially when you pin a person down to writing what the cause of arrest is right. then that itself is a very big safe you know i'm going to come back to you mr hegre and we're going to talk a bit more on you know are we being too presumptuous when we say that possibly the arvind kejriwal case uh, where the alleged liquor scam is concerned could be the textbook case where a relook at the pmla law is coming into question but i want to go to uh, neoma uh, gupta from uh, the bharatiya janata party and neoma i just want to quote on what the court said today the ed cannot ignore material which uh, exculpate the accused while exercising the power to arrest an officer cannot be allowed to selectively pick and choose material implicating the person to be arrested they have to equally apply their mind to other materials which absorbs and exculpates the arrestee the power to arrest under section 191 of the PMLA act cannot be exercised as per the whims and fancies of the officer Neoma Gupta I'd say somebody who knows the word of law this is rather damning where the investigative agency comes into question on the use of PMLA yes and that is why the interpretation of today's judgment has gone to a larger bench because they obviously when such a big question of law happens and it goes to a larger bench there is a more introspection into this 
so i will not be able to comment on that however my point of view comes from the bjp that this order which is mandating introspection which is clear that is why it's gone to a larger bench is not a point of celebration for the aap per se is getting elevated to get evaluated to put in simple terms the how, however the order also clearly stipulates that despite him getting bail he cannot really conduct the role of a chief minister per se in terms of a practical way he cannot go to the chief minister's office he cannot sign any documents so my query is as a ethical on a ethical ground can he continue to be a successful chief minister if at all if he cannot run the administration correctly we seen the sufferings in delhi whether it comes to the water conditions whether it comes to the electricity conditions whether it comes to different buckets which are not really working at the correct speed fundamentally mr kg swal is still an accused in this whole liquor scam he is not been there's no exoneration in this if a question of law is being evaluated that does not mean that he is acquitted this is an interim bail it is a step right. fair a point small step Of no, no, Nima, fair, no, uh, Nima Gupta, fair point. But allow me a rebuttal as I bring in oh. Akshay Marathe. Maybe that's oh. a little simplistic way of looking at it because the court practically said that arrest wasn't necessary, and that is exactly what Arvind Kejriwal had gone to court with the legality of his arrest. Am I supposed to you? answer? Yes, or yes, I because to the yeah, other no, no. it's for you neuma gupta because the question is you might say that nothing is really absolved arvind kejriwal of it but he had a big day in court this wasn't a petition for bail this was a petition to look into the legality of the case in itself the arrest and he's Absolutely. gotten bail in that the case has gone to a larger bench for evaluation however at any juncture have you been told that prime of assize that is within the purview of section 19 it doesn't hold good please understand over here there is a liquigate champ in which even a political party for the first time in the history has been made a co accused okay so the it it is a very big case but that is a matter of subjudice as i've repeatedly said because it's gone to a larger bench for evaluation so i cannot comment on that my fundamental is very very clear that getting him interim bail does not exonerate him from all the embezzlement he has been accused of well that needs to be proven because till now what the aam aadmi party says is they cannot prove it but uh, akshay marathe you want to weigh in that on that because yes he might have gotten bail in this particular case but that doesn't exonerate arvind kejriwal manish sisodia or the others who've been arrested in this alleged scam so don't celebrate it as arvind kejriwal getting a clean trip This is due cause of law. Preeti, this is a complicated uh, matter. So allow me a few minutes to give a point by point answer to your questions and the questions of the BJP spokesperson. Number one, I am very happy today that Arvind Kejriwal ji is going to come out on interim bail as soon as the CBI court also grants him bail. But at the same time, I am also very angry and very ashamed that it is my country's prime minister. who went after my country's chief minister only and only because he did not like the party that he was from only and only because that chief minister dared to oppose the national government and that is what has been underlined today by the uh, supreme court's verdict because what is it what is the crux of the matter the crux of the matter is that the supreme court was not able to uh, uh, justify the very arrest of mr arvind kejriwal this was not a bail matter like you very rightly said they said what are the grounds on which you have arrested a elected sitting chief minister to begin with and the interim bail was granted as a bonus that oh my god we have kept you in jail for so long without there being an adequate ground for arrest so that is the state of affairs of our country that our prime minister has become so petty our national government has become so vindictive that a sitting elected chief minister will arrest it. tell me something preeti how can a country progress if the national government is out to destroy every other voice in our country mr arvind kejriwal gave a new direction to delhi he laid a new governance model he gave hope to millions of people but the bjp just because they could not defeat him electorally was trying to destroy him all right okay. you know big day for india akshay marathe let's not get ahead of ourselves 
no, 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 no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. To, to, to turn no, around and say that the Supreme Court order has underlined that the Prime Minister went after a sitting Chief Minister, no, it doesn't. What the Supreme Court order does is underline that possibly the PMLA, a draconian law, was misused in terms of arrest. It does not exonerate Arvind Kejriwal for his culpability or non-culpability in the alleged liquor scam, Akshay Marathi. Let's just keep it simple. Preeti, let me be very clear today. This is not about innocence or guilt. It was about the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal which today has been proven to be unnecessary, illegal, done in the eve of the national Lok Sabha election. And who runs the enforcement directorate? We are saying it is the enforcement directorate who arrested it. Who runs it? If not uh, Mr. Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, we should have the courage to say this on national television and not just hide behind the enforcement directorate's name and their officers. It is the, it is the prime minister's office. It is the home minister's office, which runs the enforcement directorate. And we should have the courage to admit that. We have spent two years trying to malign Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party in media trials. I'm not blaming you, Preeti. There are many channels who only cover this case when Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, but when he gets bail, they suddenly forget about this case. Is that true or not? You you should ask yourself that question. No, you know, Akshay Marathi, let's not get into rhetoric. You know, what's going on question. now is we are just getting into political and rhetoric and, and we are not... Okay, stay the course of this debate. Let's let's stay the course of this debate. Let's not get into political rhetoric. Keep yourself focused. That's all I'm asking you. And I want to go back to Sanjay Hegre uh, and you know get him back in. I'll, I'll come back to you, Akshay Marathi. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I want to cut across to Sanjay Hegre and bring him back into the conversation because Sanjay Hegre, now it does seem, uh, you know, or, or tell me if we are getting ahead of ourselves, that possibly uh, Arvind Kejriwal or, you know, the PMLA case against him could be the textbook case of looking into PMLA. Well, uh, the textbook case has already been decided in Vijay Madanlal Chaudhary, which was right. a pre-judge. Thereafter, there have been doubts primarily arising out of the way uh, that the PMLA has been administered after the uh, Vijay Chaudhary judgment. And continually in other cases from Pankaj Bansal to Purakayasta, the Supreme Court has been putting in safeguards. In Pankaj Bansal, they said that, look, you have to give the accused reasons for the arrest. In Purakayasta also, when the ED could not uh, justify its case, they, they struck down the detention itself. So this is the third in that sequence. And all these, uh, this entire sequence will travel upwards. Maybe it will be resolved by three judges. Maybe it will be resolved by five. I agree that it is not an acquittal. To that extent, I agree with Ms. Gupta. But yes, it is a very important uh, decision. And also, please look at it this way. The Supreme yeah, Court does sure. not want to be part of power politics. It does not want to uh, say one way or the other or be seen as siding with one party or the other. So therefore, it says that we are conscious that Mr. Kejriwal is an elected chief minister. We leave the decision to him as to why, what needs to be done. But if he gets bail, these are the con uh, we, these are the conditions on which we are releasing him on bail that he will not be. Whether he will be an effective chief minister, not effective, and all that that is for him to decide, for his party to decide, legislators to decide, and ultimately it is the people to decide. So, but primarily the Supreme Court says, look, this kind of weaponization of the ED cannot go on indefinitely. Mm -hmm. ED e, e, officers do not drop from heaven. They are not heaven born uh, with the option of putting people in jail and throwing away the key and telling the judges, no, 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 you can't grant him bail. If there is a wrong arrest, the courts may judicially review it. Right. Neuma Gupta, you know, the fine print is too stark not to recognize uh, because of the Supreme Court itself says that 90 days the CM suffered in jail and practically stating that arrest was unnecessary. All of this Neoma Gupta happened at a time when the country was in an election. The Aam Admi Party was fighting 22 seats across the country, uh, be it in Punjab, Gujarat, uh, Delhi, Haryana, and ultimately who benefited out of it because the main person who was to campaign was allowed a very brief interim period to come out and campaign and the party suffered. 
Preeti, who gave interim relief and bail to Mr. Kejriwal? Are you talking about today or the or, or briefly during uh, the campaign? So, so the Supreme Court gave it, right? Yes, both times. Yes. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Go ahead, ma'am. The Supreme Court gave the Honorable Chief Minister bail for the purpose of campaigning. Yes. 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 Of course, the Supreme Court gave bail. Uh, I can't actually your... hear you because there's a big voice lag. My point being is. Over here, you are uh, the uh, Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Is saying that everything is malicious, everything is timed. A person is accused in a scam of a large amount of money. There are digital representations, evidence which are being shown on the uh, which are uh, in the court, which are being projected. The agencies are doing their job. The court is doing their job. The matter of timing, if it's Coincidental to an election that has no bearing to anything to do with the BJP. Number one, ED and all these authorities are independent authorities doing their job. In fact, it was the Congress which got the liquor case scam complaint initiated. But, Neo, but so Neoma Gupta, the sheer shout, fact that the sitting chief let, minister during an election crucial time was actually sorry, this behind is not, bars. This is, this is when he could have been out priority. campaigning. Now let's look at what happened with Heman Soren as well. This is all, not it all cannot be looked journey. at in isolation, you, and then you where you shy away from the charge of misusing state agencies. You go formulating schemes, then you uh, yourself roll back because they're terrible. Then you're investigated, and it's called malicious. So the person who's doing the wrong and is getting the act of the wrongdoing, they have nothing to do. But another political party, which has no bearing on the agencies, which you can take the statement on record, the Honorable Supreme Court, which is an independent functionary, which is so, you know, it's so, it's so sad that when the agencies or the judiciary go to your favor, they are good organs, but the all authorities, but when they do something which is against you, you see them in a bad light. I request this gentleman, to re-evaluate his strong statement which he made against the Prime Minister of this country today because that was too much okay. for me also to absorb. The All right, okay. No, okay. Akshay Marathe, have, you, I know you are, you're itching to come in, but the question is the still, stand, and it remains, you are to claim moral victory at the back of bail, it's not an acquittal. It's bail. It's absolutely not an acquittal. Has One second, yeah, I want to bring in Akshay no, Marathe into this conversation. Akshay Marathe. Preeti, you should admit that for the last two and a half years, we have been a victim of a media trial, victim of a political uh, attack where we have been maligned day in and day out. So on a day I like this, if you don't allow me to celebrate God. and say out loud that we are innocent, we have been wrongfully persecuted. I think that is a little bit unfair. Now, let me get to the real question that uh, my colleague from the BJP was asking. She said that this is not a malicious arrest by the ED. It is not malicious. Everything is hunky-dory. It is happening as per plan. Now, let me tell in front of your viewers, Preeti, I never that said the that. BJP actually knew that Mr. Kejriwala was about to get bail in the Supreme Court. And therefore, when this case was listed in front of the Supreme Court, one day before that, they got the uh, CBI to arrest Mr. Kejriwal in the same case. So today, even though the Supreme Court has given interim bail to Mr. Kejriwal, he is now in the CBI's custody and he cannot be a free man even today. That is the level of maliciousness with which the Bharati Janata Party is acting when it comes to our party. Why they hate Arvind Kejriwal? Okay. I'll tell you why, because they cannot defeat him. That's the only reason. Okay. Un it's very unfortunate. It's hard to listen to the All right. If he was so, okay, well, but the fact, but the fact, fact is, okay, Akshay Maharaj, you were defeated no, no, in no, Delhi on all seven seats with your alliance. No, no, now, yeah, let's not get into whether they can defeat him or not. In the last 25 years, in the last okay. 25 years, BJP has not won a single Delhi Assembly election. Is All right, okay, okay. Sanjay, they cannot okay, win in fine, Delhi, but... that's why they cannot tolerate All right, okay. Okay. Sanjay Higri, I want to bring you in for a final comment right now. Especially if you put the spotlight on the draconian PMLA law, what's the road ahead now? The road ahead is for the Supreme Court to look at uh, more procedural safeguards through a three judge bench or maybe a five judge bench if it believes that Vijay Madanlal Chaudhary was wrongly decided. However, the agencies themselves need to be cautious with great power, as Spider-Man told you correctly, comes great responsibility. You may have the power to arrest people 
and it may be very difficult for them to get bail. But then please be careful that you arrest the right person for the right reasons. If otherwise you are found uh, uh, to have acted with malice, then not only will the courts come after you, maybe when things change, a future government may not view right. your actions in the correct perspective, in the same perspective that you now see it. This is Fair very point. important for ED officers from yeah. today onwards. Well, this is not so much political. It's uh, where the investigative agencies are concerned. We're going to just leave it at that. Uh, appreciate we're uh, terribly out of time. Thank you, uh, all three of you, for joining us. Uh, of course, we're going to keep uh, a close eye on all developments in this particular case.